Scope. Good morning, people on Scope. What's that? Mean? Oh, I got some hearts already. Woo. I'm just getting my day started. I don't really got much to talk about this morning. I really ain't got... Well, I got a lot on my mind, but none of it I can really just speak on at this moment. Because it's too much. There's too much on my mind right now. Thanks again for the hearts. Oh, my God. Periscope, you're too good to me. What's up? How's it going? Give me some hearts. Oh. Uh, hearts? No. Okay. Whatever. I got like five hearts this morning already. How about things? Oh, it's so warm out. That's scary. You know your planet's got some problems when you can stand outside in a, nothing but a hood sweater and some boxers and the Thanks, Metal Ed. <laughs> Metal Ed? Is that like... Is that like some sort of education? Uh, is that some sort of education handle? Like you are... A scholar in metal? Perhaps you profess in metal? Metal Ed? Well, it's time to take my back again. Anyway, I've been living in Highland Square for the longest time. Your cow's pregnant? That's awesome! Uh, way to go! Is over there breeding cows? That's good, we need more cows. There's actually not enough cows on the planet to feed everybody. Hey! What about lab-created meats, though? Uh, is there any... Is there any, uh... 
Is there anybody offended by that notion? Is there anybody opposed, like firmly opposed? Is there anybody that thinks it's a good idea? Do we have anyone who would stand firmly against it? Or do we have anyone that would stand firmly for it so that we can feed the future 10 billion humans on this planet? You can check notable references on the shortage of meats on the planet, and it is a real issue. We're not there uh, yet where we're, it's a popular discussion, but we are there where it is a uh, discussion when it comes to survival of the species, and cows... There's not enough cows. There won't be enough cows. There will never be enough cows to feed 10 billion people. And even if we have slaughterhouses, which are historically already being remarked as a barbaric practice by this modern human. Now, that being said, we also are working on and have successfully made for ourselves meats that can be created uh, by our own hands and not by breeding cows but by grabbing your petri dish and um, cultivating the cells and we, what we have is hey what's up we're talking about cr artificially creating meats uh, in a, in labs or wherever they will be produced when they're introduced on a mass level uh, there you know people there was a conference I believe where they announced their steak uh, at the conference and they actually fed the steak to a room full of people before telling them it was created in a petri dish and the results were it's good it's good it tastes good it's got the texture it's the exact same thing but the only difference is we do not um, breed a ton of cows and slaughter them for the meats uh, thoughts on that I guess we're going to hear him on Periscope, but I'm on Twitter if you want to hit me up with uh, with your with your replay view of this video and any kind of concerns or opinions. Let's just hear some let's just hear some alternative facts about this one. Hit me up on Twitter uh, at Kenny Sanders, K E N N I E S A N D E R S. I would love to hear what everyone thinks about artificially. Let's uh, just We'll just we'll just go ahead and say creating our own meats in dishes versus stables, and this is a way that we can do this on Mars too. I mean, keep that in mind when we start colonizing um, planets like Mars and going to the moon. There's a big talk about well, we we're gonna have to be a vegetarian race when we enter new atmospheres because we cannot just cultivate cows up there like we can uh, spinach and broccoli and lettuce and carrots and all these good things and this is one way that the human race if we feel so omnivorous to continue eating the meats but yeah, as it stands right now, check all the references and, you know, the world's most informed people are telling us right now that we are heading in a direction where seven, seven billion people is already too many for the cow population. We will eat them into extinction when we hit the 10 billion mark. Or there will just be an enormous percentage of us that aren't privileged to such luxurious foods as stable meats. The rest of us can eat the scraps. That's the world we live in. And the proof of that is in that there is food on the planet right now for all of the people but 50 percent of the food production on this planet is wasted there is no arguing that when the population reaches 10 billion at the way that we operate right now the cows will be a luxury item that the lower percentage of the world will not be privileged to that being said how do we feel 
about making our own slabs of meat. Not from breeding cows, but regenerating the exact same cells in a highly intelligent scientific method. Conscious Conflicts. I want to hear him. Hit me up on Twitter. At Kenny Sanders. K-E-N-N-I-E-S-A-N-D-E-R-S. Peace and I love you.